Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Los Angeles at the Adidas Nation with Sasha Kilia Jones. Sasha, how is LA treating you so far? Uh, it's good. It's my first time on the West Coast, except with the exception of Vegas, but it's my first time like in California. So uh, it's good to be out here. I went to the beach. I'll uh, probably go back tonight. Um, just got to walk around a little bit, but it's, it's nice out here. I like it. Great weather. <laughs> what was your mindset going into this weekend? Um, going into this, I got I got invited late, uh, being a non-Adidas player. I got invited kind of late, so it was kind of a last-second thing. So I just come out here, just enjoy it, and just com compete. I wasn't sure who I was gonna be playing with or anything. I just go out there. I want to compete and uh, just just be able to just showcase what I could do, which I feel like I could have done a better job of. But um, that was my mindset going in. For people who are watching this video that might not know too much about you, what can you tell us about yourself? Um, in terms of on the court, uh, I'm versatile, big. Uh, 6'10", run the floor, uh, shoot, uh, post up, block shots. So, okay. uh, yeah, off the court? Or like, all right, uh, off the court, I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Um, I go to Virginia Episcopal School. It's a boarding school in Lynchburg, Virginia. And, I mean, that's it, I guess. When did you start playing basketball and why? Um, I started playing basketball young, when I was young. Uh, not, not very serious. I was a football player. Football was my main sport until sophomore year. So I didn't focus, basketball was my main sport until sophomore year, like literally literally two years ago is when I really started playing basketball seriously. But um, I started taking it seriously. I got too tall for football. I didn't want to be a 6'10". At the time, I was like 6'9", 175. I don't want to be a quarterback. So I, just, I decided I was going to start focusing on basketball. I started working out seriously and everything. So that was, that was when I first started. Uh, how do you think your football background helps you in, in basketball now? Um, I think it's a little bit of toughness that comes with it, uh, being a quarterback, taking hits and everything. Uh, I've definitely gotten tougher since the last, over the last two years on the court because it's a different type of toughness. Football, you just got to take the hit and get back up. But basketball, you got to be able to deliver hits, get back, go back and forth and everything like that. So just the physicality uh, is something that helped me with football. Um, just having that mindset, just taking a hit and getting back up and everything like that. And that's, that's helped me start now as I've gotten strong and everything, start delivering hits and to be able to be more physical in the post and when I'm on the court and everything too. Have you changed it all physically in, in, in the last few years? Definitely. Uh, sophomore year, like I said, I was like, well, sophomore year, I was like 6'7", or maybe 6'6", six, six, like 175. And I was like, I was a skinny 175. Like, and last year, I put on like 15 pounds in the last, last year. So I've gotten a lot stronger. Since Christmas time last year, uh, I've been on a great strength program. My trainer up at school, my trainer at home. So just lifting pretty much every day. Uh, saying the gym, eating right and everything. I've, I've put on a lot of weight and I've gotten a lot stronger over the past, the past year, really. What's it like growing up in the backyard of such a storied program like North Carolina? Um, definitely a lot of outside pressure uh, going, going to UNC here like, every day. Like, from little kids, that's where the youth camp, all the little kids running around telling me to go to UNC. So it's a lot of, a lot of pressure, a lot of people telling you, obviously, they're right there to go to UNC. But just growing up there, I was never really a huge UNC fan because I'm originally from New Jersey. Uh, and I lived in Durham for a little bit too when I moved out of North Carolina. So I never really had like a, I was never a Duke or a UNC fan or anything like that. But um, so it was just, just you hear about it all the time. You, you live right there. I got to go play pickup with the guys this summer a lot. So that was good to get over there and get good competition and play with those guys at UNC. It seems like you being a little bit of a late bloomer, maybe they weren't on you as early as they were on some other guys. When did they really start seriously recruiting you? Um, they were recruiting me before I committed to Virginia originally. They recruited me. It wasn't. They hadn't offered or anything like that. But after I decommitted, they were on it like really quickly. Roy, Roy, Coach Roy was, Coach Roy Williams was calling all the time. Uh, he still is, he still calls a lot. Uh, Coach McGrath. Uh, so they they've been a lot more serious and they offered and everything like that. And I, since I've been going over to play with them since I decommitted. What, what happened with uh, Virginia? Um, nothing happened. I, I said I just feel like I, I, I sat down and thought about it a little more. Talked to my parents. It felt like I kind of rushed the decision. Uh, at first, I committed uh, New Year's Day this year. So I committed uh, relatively early. I felt like I rushed the decision. I, just, I wanted to. I wanted to get the recruiting process over with, and I, I felt like Virginia was the right fit at the time. And they were obviously they're obviously one of the top programs. So it is. A, it is a great school, and I'm still considering them. Uh, but the, at the t I just felt like I needed to decommit just to take a step back and just look at my options and see if there wasn't a better fit than Virginia. Who else is in the mix now? Um, Kentucky, Kansas, Florida, California, UNC, NC State, uh, UConn. Uh, Duke's been recruiting me. They haven't offered yet. Um, uh, uh, Georgetown. Like Quite a list of really good programs. How do you how do you narrow down that list and find the right fit for you? 
Um, I've been talking to my parents a lot. Uh, just a lot of contact, talking to the schools uh, just on the phone. I think that that's really important. I think that's kind of undervalued. Just talking and just getting a feel for the coaches over the phone, and when you meet coaches in person too. But it's getting a feel like what what their what their idea for you is, and uh, what what their program is all about. Just finding that kind of stuff out and just talking to coaches. And then with my parents, just uh, we just want to find the right fit. Just sit down and just we're gonna talk. Uh, we're supposed to talk this weekend before I came out here. Just sit down and try to go over things and figure out what the next best step is. Any specific bas any specific goals you have for your basketball career? Uh, I want to be the best. Uh, my trainer is be the best version of myself. So I want to. I think. I think I, everybody has the opportunity to do a lot of great things, and I want to be the best version of me. So I want to. In terms of high school, I want to be an All American. I want to be top 25 of the country. I want to be. I, I feel like I can compete with anybody in the country, and I feel like I want, I want to show that on the national level. So that's that's my goal for high school, college. I want to be like I said, the best version of myself. Go wherever I go. Go out there, compete for minutes. Even if I don't get minutes, compete when I'm in the game and just uh, just battle. And in practice, I want to play against, you're obviously going to play against top level guys, like all high major guys. So in practice, get better every day. And uh, then just, just to prepare myself. I want to play the next level uh, after college, playing the NBA. Obviously, that's, that's everybody here has dreamed to play in the NBA. And uh, I've made that, made that my goal to, to play there. But it's a lot of steps before that, just working hard and everything like that is my goal, to reach my goal. So. What can you tell me about your last name? Which, um... Any any interesting background there with your family? Where, where are they from? Uh, my mom's from England, so she kept her last name and when my when her my my dad got married, so she kept her last name. And I got my dad's last name is Jones. He's, his name is still Jones, but me and my little brother are both Killia Jones. My mom's Killia Jones. Great stuff. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Good luck.